Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Just Be With Mahesh. So today I wanted to share basically the question which I have been asked a couple of times where I had taken up basically a data engineer role as a contractor. So the question which was asked was couple of times was basically some of the cost optimization tips uh, which you have used basically whenever you have done uh, any implementation in BigQuery. So let me try to share the couple of uh, real examples which I had shared with the interviewer. So let's get started. Before we do that, a quick shout out. I'm starting my batch eight, uh, starting from 15th of January, 2022. So if you are interested, please drop me a mail at learnjispivithmahesh at the rate gmail.com. So going to the question, I'm uh, going to the uh, tips which I have shared. Basically, I would like to show a small demonstration on that. Let's get started. All right, we are in our GCP project. So the couple of tips which I wanted to, sh uh, which I usually share when I talk about BigQuery, when it is more towards the cost optimization part is first and the foremost thing, uh, cost, right? Uh, I may be in one part of the world, but I may be implementing a uh, project for a customer who's in a different part of the world. Say for example, uh, two different uh, geographies basically something like one in asia if i'm in asia and i'm trying to implement something for a customer in uh, canada how do i do it or if i if the customer is in us how do i do it the first and the foremost cost optimization tip is uh, whenever i create the data set interview tip number one the data set will be basically needs to be created in the same region where the customer operates so this is one is a cost optimization tip that's one thing another part is basically the compliance part so what if i am working for a customer who's in uh, european union so gdpr so the data set has to be in the uh, the region where the customer operates so assume the customer operates say for example in uh, london so this is an important stuff so this is the first tip uh, which i have usually shared which really was basically recognized as a good tip. The second tip is basically, uh, let me have a data loaded. So whenever I need to load data quickly uh, in a faster manner in uh, BigQuery, the option which I always choose is load it in Avro format. So this is the option which I have selected, mentioned. So Avro tip number two. So I'll just mention it as uh, demo db create. So that's a tip number two, always prefer to use uh, Avro format. So Google also recommends to use Avro format and if it is possible, compressed version of Avro is going to be the, the best option. That is the one which gets loaded faster. Uh, time which is going to be spent is going to be very less. So this is not going to have a much cost benefit basically, but quickly I can load the data. That's the first uh, thing. So moving on to the next part is, this is the most important thing. I basically uh, always do this whenever I work on BigQuery and if it is basically a native table, uh, meaning the storage is backed up by the BigQuery itself, I never click on query. I always click on preview because preview is totally free for native tables. If it's an external table, you have no other option. You have to query it. But if it's a native table, I would always prefer to use BigQuery. So this is the, the most best uh, cost optimization tip which I can usually share because people want to know the schema. Uh, what is the kind of data? They directly jump into running a query and each query is going to cost me in BigQuery. I don't want to do that. So this is the... The third tip which, which I have done and the last tip is one of my favorite tip basically. Um, whenever I, uh, you work as a data engineer, right, uh, there could be some times where you need to clean up the data, uh, the table and dump in new data. But uh, in the beginning, I used to do this kind of a stuff. So this was literally I did. Later I learned it from my own mistake. So I used to do this and I am not from a database background or a data warehouse background. It was basically GCP game that gave that privilege of learning things. So I used to do this where like this I used to run folks. So this is basically a DML statement which is going to cost me data manipulation language. So this is going to cost me, this is going to process this much amount of data. So for this amount of data, I'll be charged. So by default, the, the query cost, if I run this, there's no problem running this. So if I run this, basically this is a delete statement. 
thousand rows dot deleted now if i look into my personal uh, history you will see this one delete which i just ran now look into the details uh, now when i look into the details minimum billing in uh, gcp is going to be in bigquery is going to be 10 mb so i'll be charged for 10 mb this is not a good charge but uh, this is what i used to do so i learned from my mistakes so what was the alternative stuff which I started looking into was truncate. So since the table is deleted, I have to again create a table, uh, load it. So truncate was the option which I learned. So where the schema is going to be there, but the table is going to be emptied and truncate will not cost you anything. So uh, perfect option. A perfect choice so load it so once it gets loaded uh, if I want to empty the table so truncate was the option which I started using it so I'll just show you how it works basically so the table is there and this one does not show only the reason is it's not refreshed so if I just refresh it uh, the demo underscore TV will be removed basically so if I just show you this part, uh, the demo or the demo underscore TB, yeah, it is going to be basically empty, uh, but it incurred me a cost. So open. Okay. There's a issue with the UI. Let me just refresh it. So if you see, it is going to be empty, but the schema is going to be there, but it incurred basically a cost of 10 MB uh, for running that query of delete, which was not a good choice and any person from the database background would never do that. I used to do it. So that was a learning basically. So coming back to this perfect table a uh, perfect choice, what I used to do it, run this query. So instead of all these things, use truncate. So truncate the table. And this is going to be a valid command. So run it. And this is not going to incur any cost. That's the beauty. That's definitely the cost optimization. So now if I go look into my personal history, uh, you will see truncate. This is a query. But if I look into the job details, you will see zero bytes build. Awesome, right? So this is an awesome tip, uh, I would say, which I learned basically by doing a mistake. So those were the tips which I wanted to share. The first one is whenever you load, you load it in the uh, the specific region of where the customer operates so that the data egress cost can be uh, definitely reduced and the processing could be a little faster there. Uh, tip number two, if as much as possible, try to load Avro file format. If it's in a compressed format, that's going to be the best option. Uh, the third tip is never run delete. Uh, statement it's going to incur cost if you were to basically empty the table keeping the schema structure trunk it is a good choice so let me know if you uh, like those tips and if you have used any other tips while uh, in you while attending any interview do let me know in the comment section thank you for watching